welcome to trapped in the south today is a very long awaited movie monday update so the other day i was watching this movie and i was like why won't i just record my thoughts about it like i know it's not in the normal like lane of movies that i've been watching because the whole premise of this is for me to catch up on movies that i have not seen that are supposed to be like cult classics and I just give my opinion on it. Well, today's movie is, I would think, definitely not a cult classic, but it is The Haunted Mansion. <laughs> yes, a Disney movie, but not just any Disney movie. Um, let me give you all the specs. So, random, apparently, huh, this movie came out in 2003 and this is loosely, it keeps saying that everywhere, loosely based on the Haunted Mansion from Disney World. Well, apparently the Haunted Mansion was added to Disney World in 1969. And then in 1971, they added it to Disneyland. So a couple years later, they were like, oh, this is a hit. Let's go ahead and make this in both places i hope i got that information correct anywho so this movie has eddie murphy terrence stamp wallace sean marcia thompson she plays the wife and jennifer tilly it was directed by robert minkoff and it was written by david Bernerman. um this movie's budget was 90 million so i'm pretty sure this is the largest budget of a movie that i have reviewed so the budget was 90 and it made uh 182.3 million doubled it's crazy so <clears throat> This movie is about Eddie Murphy's character and Marsha Thompson's character. They're the Evers. Eddie Murphy's character is a real estate agent and he is like a workaholic. And like the movie opens up with him basically like, I don't want to say strong arming, but doing what realtors do when it comes to getting a house sold. And he ends up missing his anniversary and he know well he tried he tried real hard but failed and then he ends up buying a present for his wife which she accepted after some coercing and they decide well after he's been guilted because he was wrong to go on a long weekend well right before they leave to go to the weekend he gets a call about a house, about a property that somebody wants to meet him at, that he has already agreed to help sell. And it happens to be this mansion. Well, they get there and it's eerie, it's creepy. It's gated. The gate clearly has a chain and a lock. They can't get in. And then mysteriously and magically, the chains are dropped and the locks are open and the gate flows open <laughs> and long story short there is a gentleman there who thinks that Jim, Eddie Murphy's character's wife, is his long lost lover in life. And the people that this man had around him were lying to him. And basically he tried to poison them all and, and get rid of them all just so he could have her. Um, because he thought that that was his eternal love. When it turns out the people who he had around him, his main servant, uh, killed her several eons ago. And so, basically, Eddie Murphy realizes his horrible ways and saves his wife and saves his family. 
and the curse on the house is broken and so all of these ghosts who have been trapped for forever um, get to be released and go and the bad guy burns yeah so that's a Disney movie I think it's rated PG um, there was no like bad language or anything I mean would I let my small child watch this I mean I kind of did I knowing what I know now probably would not have um, I don't know they talked about like burning hell and I'm pretty sure they said like I don't know it's just it didn't seem like a kid movie there were kids in it it was on Disney Channel produced by Disney but it didn't seem very kid ish in my eyes so have you guys watch The Haunted Mansion have you been to Disney World do you like the haunted house I love it but this movie was not my favorite so I would probably give it a one out of five and the one is just because Eddie Murphy was in it see y'all later